it's certainly very dry. Kangaroos have really eaten out most of the, the grass. There's still some sort of dead tussocks left. This is the second attempt to uh, surface this wall, so let's see how we go. There's no colour at all in this mix. It's basically four parts sand, one part lime, one part cement, and two small cups of bondcrete, just to give it a bit of binding. Charlie's turning three and making him a bed. What I'm thinking of here is that this curve here can become the headboard of the bed. I think we've just got enough. So the next step is to put it into the mill and slice, and slice it up into boards. Um, at least headboard type boards. Maybe legs come out of that one. Just adding a little beeswax. This little bit of track here, uh, which I've opened up with the Kubota, is, is what I call the Southwest Passage. What I'm doing at the moment is digging a, a, a trench for a culvert so that one day, if it ever rains again, and it certainly feels as though that may never happen, um, water will go under this crossing rather than over it and possibly wash it away. Behind me is a place that I'm getting some soil, some fill, for behind the wall. What I'm trying to do with the levels is, is to connect this area that I, this, this flat area through here with the grove of the scribbly gums behind. We've got all sorts of wonderful properties. I hope so. There's nothing left there. I think you're finished. Oh, Courage on yeah. coffee. It's coffee coming. I'm reaching for my first sip of the Courage on coffee. It's eminently drinkable and very pleasant.